if you're new around here, probably won't expect this. We're gonna do a neck hug this week. The neck hug is strong. Mm -hmm. I thought it'd be really fun to come up with some DIY edible school supplies that you could totally just use to curb your hunger during class. And the other thing you can totally do with this is to prank your friends with it. They also taste like super yummy. Came up with eight of these. We actually came up with more. Some of them just didn't turn out right. Went uh, and like totally flopped. Did a giant DIY like gummy phone case. But we asked Siri what she thought of it. So that was pretty funny. So check out my vlog channel because that's all behind the scenes stuff. Really, really Really, really excited to share these with you. Hold up, if you guys aren't part of the family yet here already, I encourage you guys to join. It's so simple, just click the subscribe button here or in a mobile device, it is down below. And my family members are like not only like the best people in the world, you can win one of these two MacBook Airs, and yes, I'm giving away two. And the one other thing you need to do to join this giveaway is to join my vlog squad, which means subscribe to my vlog channel, which is linked here and down below. And it is that simple, just do those two things. Good luck, guys. And let's get this video to 100,000 thumbs up. That will be so cool, guys. Like, I would feel so appreciated. Love you guys so much. So, without further ado, let's get straight to the video. Let's go. Hey, you want a crayon? I got extra. Oh, really? Yeah, that'll be really cool. Yeah. Even though she's a bit loopy, she's pretty nice, actually. Oh, by the way, thank I know you all. Now it's time to make some edible crayons. They're super pretty and yummy and you'd want to eat the whole pack. Trust me. Mm. <laughs> You'll need some gelatin, jelly flavors that match with your crayon colors, some thick straws and some duct tape. Grab a straw and close one end with duct tape. Grab a section of tape and place the flat end of the straw down on it. And then you want to make little cuts towards the center with some scissors so that you can really get the duct tape in around the circle. You want to make this super tight. Do this twice because even after the first layer, even if you do it right, it's still gonna bleak a little bit. And this will be our mold for our crayons, so make as many as you want. Now you can make our own container for when these set by cutting the top of a water bottle, or you can use a really tall, thin glass. So now we're gonna make some gummy. So pour in 100 mils of water, stir in half a teaspoon of gelatin, and roughly one tablespoon of your flavored jelly. Of course, you can use more gelatin if you want this gummy to be thicker. If you wanna make the color opaque as well, you can add in a little bit of condensed milk, and it's still super tasty. This one I made is lemon flavor and you can use food coloring if you want to intensify the color as well. Mix it well while it heats up and once it boils, wait another 30 seconds before you take it off the heat. Now cool it down and pour it into the straw using a funnel or a cup with one of these like pouring nibs. Make as many colors as you want and then pop it in the fridge to set. We waited about 6 hours. We ended up making 7 colors to replace every single crayon in our crayon pack. To take it out, simply just remove the duct tape off the end and then squeeze the other end of the straw super lightly and it'll simply slide right out like a worm. It's so fun fun to do and like really fun to watch. And to make it look like a crayon, we want to use a knife or an X-Acto knife to shape the tip. You want to cut from the end towards you for the most control. And then we want to carefully cut the wrapper off an existing crayon using a knife along the edge where they're like stuck together. And then once it's done, work it onto your gummy carefully and get some clear tape to stick it on and keep it there. You can hide one gummy amongst your actual crayons or even replace the whole pack. Both are super fun. Miss, can I go to the bathroom? pencil shavings so let's just grab some Brazil nuts since they are the right shape to sharpen and they're kind of big and what we want to do is shape it like a pencil so use an exacto knife or a sharp knife and just trim the nut down so it will actually fit into the sharpener and again if you're a kid make sure you get a parent to do this for you because it is quite fiddly and even I was like panicking when I'm doing this so make sure yes parent supervision so important and once it's in the right shape put it in your pencil sharpener and like 
just sharpen it and it will actually look like pencil shavings make sure you clean your sharpener before this as well you don't want to be eating lead and stuff like that and you can also paint the ends with a food dye if you want to make it match like your actual pencil shavings and plus these shavings are super healthy for you and so tasty so the principles of magical land is that oh man, stop growling are you hungry? How much longer? Class is so long. Another hour. Oh, I know. Whenever I saw a kid have one of those eraser pens, I thought they were so fancy. Now I finally have one and we're gonna make it edible. So we're gonna replace the eraser with these super pretty musk sticks. Let's take a moment to appreciate how similar they look, even down to the length. It was exactly the same length. All you need to do now is to shave down the musk sticks to the thickness of your eraser stick. You can use an X-Acto knife or like a sharp knife. And if you're a kid, make sure you have parent supervision or get them to do this for you because this can be so dangerous and this goes for every single knife related DIY in this video just be careful guys the shavings are totally edible so go ahead and numb them and once you're done leave it out to dry and it'll harden up a bit more so it won't bend now just stick it in your razor and you're ready to go it even dispenses out like a normal razor as well you can have a secret stash of mustics in your pencil case it's so yum can I have some gum yes oh thanks Grab any pencil you'd like that has an eraser on the end wrapped in metal. Now I want to use some scissors and dig that out. Usually the top piece will kind of break off and then you just gotta really get in there with the scissors to dig the rest out. So just take your time and do this. Now take a roll of gum like this Hubba Bubba gum. Pink and purple look the most like an eraser. Break off a piece and roll it up as tight as you can. It's actually better to get a little bit extra than slowly cut off little bits until you get to the size that perfectly fits in the middle casing. And once it fits, just stick it in. Use a flat surface and your fingers to mold it so you smooth out the edges so they stick all together. You can flatten the top as well so you don't see that little like twisty bit at the top. And it actually molds super well once it gets a bit warm with your fingers. The other awesome thing is now you have an emergency gum supply, you can totally sneak into class. So now class, right now our activity is to draw anything you want in your favorite color. You have 15 minutes. All right, Wendy, you want to show me what you have? Oh, it's very lovely. Thank you. And Wendy, what about you? I think I come. Hey, what's up? Interesting. Yes, we need to book her in to see the school counsellor. I used to love magic changing markers, scented markers, but I never had edible markers. So like, that's not to say some of us didn't just try and eat them anyways. And to make these, you'll need some food dye pens that's usually used to decorate cakes. And we're gonna paint them to look like a Sharpie. Of course, you can paint it to match your own markers if you like as well, it's completely up to you. You might need more than two coats of paint as well. So just paint it until you see that it's opaque enough. You can't see that it's a food dye marker. And now I'm gonna write Sharpie on it with an actual Sharpie. It it actually ended up looking super convincing from the distance and now we want to pour some kool-aid in a similar color in a container and add a tiny bit of water to dilute it but not too much we want this to still be quite like strong tasting now grab a syringe and drip some of this flavoring onto your pen tip you can also try soaking the tip in it as well if you don't have a syringe that still works and now you have a super tasty edible kool-aid sharpie and you can make all different kinds of flavors as well feel free to like color your tongue and like draw patterns on it, it's gonna be super safe and tasty. Hey, can I borrow an eraser? Yeah, sure. Awesome, thanks. No, you can't take that one, you gotta take the yellow one. I'm only just using it for like one thing. I'll, I'll give it back. No, 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 you gotta take that one. Yeah, the pink one's mine. Just, just one second. No, 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 you can't. It's my breakfast. What the? 
why not make a gummy eraser as well since I absolutely love gummy. So to make a gummy eraser, just add 50 ml of water with 100 ml of milk half a teaspoon of gelatin and one tablespoon of red jelly powder or any other color you'd like. You can use condensed milk as well instead of the actual milk and this will make it more opaque. And don't forget you can add food coloring or more gelatin so feel free to play with the amount of ingredients. Now mix it over the heat and bring it to the boil and wait 30 seconds before taking it off the stove. Pour it into a rectangular container that's roughly the size of an eraser but if you have a suitable mold like use that as well I just couldn't find one. Now let it set over a few hours and then gently pop it out. I used a knife to cut mine to the same shape as an actual razor and now you're done. It looks so convincing. Hey, hey. You wanna have a bit? Okay, crazy girl. I'm gonna throw all these Sharpies in the air and I wanna catch all of them, but if I can't, I'm gonna drink my glue. Uh, okay, what do I have to do if you catch them? Um, nothing. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. You ready? Sure. Alright. You can catch any of them. It's fine. You don't have to. Miss! Miss! I need to call the school nurse. She drank all her glue. Oh, so good. That's it. I was staring at a bottle of Elmer's glue and went. Hey, this totally looks edible. And so this DIY was born. First, we're gonna empty out all the Elmer's glue and store it somewhere so we don't waste it. My fiance Max is going to use it to make slime on his DIY channel, Jumbo Bunny. So don't forget to check his channel out. The link is in the description. And he recently made this super cute giant moose slime that literally looks like a rainbow cloud. Like I had so much fun playing with this. Now clean out the bottle with warm water and detergent and making sure you clean out the lid too. We don't wanna be eating glue. Let it dry and pour some glucose into the bottle. I made my own makeshift funnel by cutting a small hole in the cupcake wrapper that I just popped on top. This is pretty much pure sugar guys, so I definitely don't recommend you eating this, but it is edible and looks exactly like Elmo's glue, so it works so well. I guess now you have Elmo's glucose. <laughs> Get it? I'm so funny. Yeah. Alright, anyways. <laughs> also, if you want to replace the white Elmer's glue, you can use vanilla yolk. Listen up, class. Today, we're going to be doing a collage of your friends. You have 22 minutes. Now, chop, chop. Yes, I've been waiting for this all day. Wenji. Why are you doing a collage? I have no friends. This is my friend, can I make a collage of this? Moving on. Burst glue is so easy to make and super delicious. And by the way, guys, it is so pretty. Grab a thin non-toxic glue stick and remove the glue. You can do this by twisting it all the way up and then twisting it off. By twisting it, you're actually leaving less residue because it actually comes off more cleanly than pulling it. Because we figured out most glue sticks are actually twisted on. And we don't want to be eating glue even though we probably did as kids. But let's just use warm water and detergent to clean off any residue. You can use a Q-tip or something like that to give it a bit of a scrub. And once you're done, let it dry, then put your glue stick back together and then twist it all the way down and make sure that bottom piece is sitting on the very end. And now we're ready to candify. Now grab three colors of Starburst or however many will fit into your glue stick and you can do one color if you want as well and then we want to stamp them in reverse order. Now unwrap your first Starburst and place it on the wrapper on a flat surface. We want to stamp our first one into the glue stick. You might want to put your body weight into this because it's actually pretty solid and hard to get in but once you get to the bottom you can actually twist it a little for it to come off super cleanly. Like seriously look at that how good does that look. Now take the next color do the same thing and Feel free to eat the like bits that come off. It's so tasty. Let's not waste it. Now keep going till we get to the top of the glue stick. And that's pretty much it. Now when you twist it, you have this super beautiful rainbow glue stick that's completely edible. It's actually really convincing texture wise as well, like I'm so surprised. It's also a great way to have a backup sugar hit for those times you can't concentrate in class and like you're getting a little bit hungry. 
cool were these? And if you guys try any of these at home yourself, don't forget to hashtag Wendy Corns. I want to hear your stories. I want to see what you made. Like, I just will stalk you guys all week, commenting and liking all your photos. So yeah, I look forward to like chatting to you over there. And during the week, I love to see you guys on my social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, follow me. I always post over there or on my vlog channel as well. And yeah, I love my vlog squad. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. I'll see you soon, fam. Bye. Love you.